Brandon Sachs here for the Towson Sports Network inside Burdick Hall after the men's and women's swimming and diving teams returned home for the first time in about two months to take on the McDaniel Green Terror. <laughs> Last two weeks are kind of our heaviest weeks of training. Um, we're doing some heavier stuff in the weight room. I did in a couple extra practices throughout the week. So, um, you know, for them to be able to kind of come off of that and do as well as they did today um, spoke a lot as to where they are right now, especially um, in terms of how they're competing. It was a good step, good first meet for the for our kind of championship, leading to our championship part of the season. So um, definitely feeling really good um, about where we are and where we're going, especially leading into next week's big week, big meet against Virginia and Virginia Tech. You know, that's just exciting. It's, it's, you know, the, the women, I think, are still ranked number one. I'm not positive. So any chance you get to race that level of competition, um, it's going to bring out the best of you. And, and so, you know, that's, that's the mentality that we're going down with is, you know, we're going to go down, we're going to give it our best. It's a great pool to swim in, great competition to race against. And, you know, we're, we're kind of hoping to go, you know, improve on today, improve on what we've done in the fall and kind of use it as a springboard through the rest of the season. The women won 156 to 90 and the men 152 to 94. Both teams hit the road on Friday to travel down to the University of Virginia to take on UVA and Virginia Tech. You'll be able to catch live stats right here on TowsonTigers.com. For the Towson Sports Network, I'm Brandon Sachs.